Hello students, hope you all are safe with your parents in this quarantine. Now it's time for study. In class 9th you have studied about physical features of India, climatic condition, its forest and wildlife etc. In class 10th you will study about the resources of India like water resources, mineral resources and the forest resources and so on. Now let us begin with the first chapter of class 10th that is resources and development. See, the word resource have been derived from the two words that is re plus source. Re means again and source means from where it comes. That is the things that we can get again and again are called as resources. In other, another context, things that satisfied our needs termed as resource. Example, trees. Trees, that is, we get the timber from the trees. We modified them, we take them to the industry and we change them into the furniture. The furniture is itself a resource for us because furniture satisfies our needs. Then, then come to your book, that is your NCRT. Everything available in our environment which can satisfy, can be used to satisfy our needs provided it is technology accessible, economically feasible and culturally stable can be termed as resource. See, in this definition three terms we have used, technologically accessible, economically feasible and culturally acceptable. Technologically accessible means resource that we are taking out from the mind, it should be the technology easy technology by which we can easily take it from the mines. Second thing, it should be economically feasible. Economically feasible means that is it should have the cost that is required for taking out the minerals or any other thing from the land it requires less cost and the manufactured product that we have made that also requires less cost. Third, culturally acceptable. Whatever the thing we have made that should be accepted by the all the people that it should be accepted by all people whether they belonging to the lower class or the upper class example cotton plant is there cotton balls are plucked by the people that is a human labor is, is used then taken to the industry there it is with the help of the technology changed into the yarn that is the thread and then again it is changed into the with the help of the technology again change into the fabric the fabric that is made it is of all kind of quality so and that fabric can be accepted by all the people of the world next the purpose of transformation of things available in the environment involves an interdependent relationship between nature technology and institution Human beings interact with nature through technology and create institutions to accelerate their economic development. See, three things are there, physical environment, technology, institution. Human beings are the most important resource, as you all know this thing, because we only have the capability of changing the unused thing into a usable form. And how we can do this? Only with the help of the institution, nature and technology. What we do, we go to the nature, we take out the mineral from there, from the mines and how we take out them with the help of the technology. We again then we bring them to the industry and we manufacture them into a usable form. Another thing, institution can also be used as a study centers. We study about the minerals or the other things that is available in the nature where they are available with the help of the maps and the survey we can study about them that where they are available in the nature then we go to the particular place we take out the, the mines for minerals from there and with the help of the technology we do all these things then we again bring them back to the industry and we take out and we change them into a usable form so there is an interdependent relationship between the nature technology and institution that is totally governed by the human beings next is do you think that resources are free gifts of nature as assumed by many they are not resources are functions of human activities human beings themselves are transform material available in environment into resources and use them see 
This is there must be there in your mind. Resources are free gifts of nature. You may be thinking it. That is, yes, resources are free gifts of nature because they are freely available in the environment. But they are not. Why? Because each and every st- at each and every step they require money. They require money. Finance is required at each and every step. That's why they are not the free gifts of the nature. Because we require money for taking out the things from the land, whether the crops are there or whether the minerals are there. We require the money in that. Second step, we require the money for transporting these unused things to the industry. The transportation also require the cost. Then later on, we take to the industry and we turn them into a usable form. It requires electricity. It requires <coughs> technology water etc so it requires money in each and every step that's why resources are not the free gifts of nature they are they, they require cost at every step now next thing that we have to study is about the classification of the resources